This episode is all about Supreme Drop that happened today. The Spring Summer 2020 Supreme Dose, Drop. Dose. You clearly have a turntable over there. Got a turntable over here. The hottest item that dropped today? The new mark. No, but I think probably the coolest. The hottest item might have been that uh Tupac. Tupac, the fur coat, the faux fur. Uh, can we show that the off? Faux fur. Tupac shirt here. Obviously, this guy went hamburgers at the Supreme store. Holy cow. Yeah. Tupac shirts, yeah. multiple Tupac oh, shirts. Yeah, I got a couple for like a quick second. Bam. Oh, we got the sweater. We got Justin working the camera. Um, yeah, Jay Boogs. But before we get into that, uh, I just want to make a quick verbal mention to Eric Whiteback. Mm -hmm. What up, E? What do, what do you think about this concept of him destroying that, that statue? I think it was a shame. I think it was a shame that he destroyed that statue. I think we did a video on this where you were telling me how this porcelain statue was very coveted and very limited. It was very coveted and very limited and for him to destroy it makes him sort of an asshole, but at the same time it was it was cool. You know, he made the It was content. With the crystal it was hella content. And he made like the necklaces with Christopher Pace and some of those necklaces look really cool. It's not like my age bracket and demographic, but some of it looked really cool. And then he made these little like Cards, trading cards, icons, yeah. trading card thing. It, it, it. Hey man, you got paid off it. I ain't mad at it. So it makes you cringe that he broke that porcelain. Yeah, hell yeah, 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 yeah. But do you appreciate his entrepreneurship? Because I'm pretty sure he recouped. Yeah, yeah, I think he made all the money, money he made back. Yeah, um, by selling these uh, small. You know, pieces. It, it, it is what it is. I don't agree with a lot of this stuff Eric does, um, but I think Eric is a great person, and I try to value people more for who they are than like what they do like so a lot of people think eric's corny and he's ruining the brand by like you know taking all these silly pictures and always like being like the extra hype beast dude you know what i mean and i agree with that to a degree with people like i feel like it is a little bit corny some of it some of it's really funny some of it's great content the hot wheels thing was amazing you know what i mean that ping pong shit be cool as hell you know i thought the the cube was a step too far but like aside from all of that he's a really nice fucking person so to that credit I, I don't mind Eric. Either way, he's a nice guy, I support him. Let's just jump right into this week's drop. It looked like you overshopped and you just bought everything. A little bit, a little bit, a um, little bit. We're little not bit. going through every item, cool. but uh, what are some standout items? I mean, the record play, of course, is a standout item. I think it's a little smaller in the box than what this looks like, so I think, because you see it in the picture, a standard side record sort of hangs off the side of it, but whatever, this is cool. I like it. It has like a clear plastic case over the top of it that says Supreme, it's cool. It's dope to have like, just laid up in your crib, right? The water bottles, the Nalgaline water bottles. Am I saying that right? I feel like you would know how to pronounce that. I'm not gonna try. Nalgene, Nalgaline water bottles, they cool. They got the little sleeve on them. I'm participating this year in the TD Five Borough Bike Tour, so I think I'm gonna have one of these these bad boys strapped to my waist right there so I can have some cool refreshment you know what I mean on my five borough you know million mile bike ride new year new you you trying to new year new me baby that's on your body I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fit into Supreme a little better okay that's it I'm not like on this miracle weight loss journey I don't care I, I enjoy being a bigger guy but I need to fit my hoodies a little better so I'm trying to what's make the weight goal more life like honestly real, realistically I'm trying to be like maybe 220 220. I was 280 in the start of the year. I'm down to like 257, 253, somewhere in there. And and, and it's, it's you know moderate, 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 moderate. It was on silence. It was on silence, but that's one of the VIP people. Oh, you know. All right, cool. Then we got the Zippo. We got the Supreme Zippo to drop. This thing is like about glows in the dark. Here, can we turn the lights off? Uh, no, we can't. All right, cool. Well, it glows in the dark, right? That's one thing. Supreme Zippo. It's a nice one this year. <laughs> that is not a bad one. Like we got the. Uh, the leather man, you know what I mean? Everybody, every oh, grip oh. needs this, you know? I'm trying to get Justin to buy one off me for $200. I don't know if he's really <laughs> feeling the vibe, but you know, it comes with a leather case, man. Embossed, man, you see that, right? We got overdyed beanies, overdyed beanies every year or a hit, you know what I mean? Great, solid caps. We got the bird call, which is probably the most bullshit item I've seen in a long time. I don't see no birds. You see any birds? Do it again. Yo, I think the, that sounds more like a squirrel. That's the diplomat whistle. <laughs> and I think this thing was like $40. I don't know why I bought it, but a bird call. They gave out free ponchos, man. You seen the ponchos? That's a garbage bag, man. No, it's not. What are you talking about? It's a poncho, bro. Look, it's, look, look, it's even got a drawstring like a garbage bag would. <laughs> <laughs> so the what ballpark you? poncho. This is probably one of my favorite tees that came out. They call it the, uh, the shop tee. It almost looks like a classic logo. But uh, you know, I got the store number on it, New York City. I love, 
I love when they keep it plain, right? The waist bags this year are a hit. The shoulder bags, not so much. I'm not feeling the shoulder bag so much. The waist bag got a nice design. The book bag got a dope design. They get a blue camo this year, which is fire. Um, Naomi T. That ain't look like Naomi Campbell to me, but I guess that was her in her heyday. <laughs> okay. And it's got, this is Naomi T's like a Gons collab too. They got his little ghost, his little flowers. Tupac back. They got the Tupac hologram. They got the one I'm wearing, the cherry tea. They got the love by the children tea with the cross. I feel like that's a jab at the church. Love now, cry later. The bling tea. We got all these are profitable. The paint tea. Everything I'm touching, I'm making a dollar on. I'm not buying it if I'm not making a dollar got on. Got a whole nother bag over here. Look, I got a whole nother one of these fur coats. That's lit. Look, another shop tea. Laugh now, cry later. Masterpiece tea. This is another tea that the famous cameraman Justin wants, but he don't want to pay my tax. We're gonna figure it out. We got uh, S logo. <laughs> we got S logo. More water bottles. This is a cool graphic. The Supreme Black Cat tea. That's a cool graphic. What else we got? I don't even know what this tea is, but you know, the stuff. Man, we got decks. They got these scattered uh, decks. I got some distorted decks logo. Here. Bling logo, hologram Tupac. We got um, panel track pants. I guess this can go uh, on and on. Yeah, I can, we keep but, going. I got more bags, so we keep. You, but but what what are you actually keeping? What am I keeping? Keeping skateboard ducks, water bottles. Uh, keeping this T-shirt, the cherry tea. I'm probably gonna keep the shop tea. Um, a lighter, a uh, turntable, a leather man. And that's, that's all she wrote, baby. So how much profit do you think you made today? Millions of dollars, bro, millions. Oh. It's amazing, bro. Mm. Don't tell the IRS on my kids. You're right, all right. So we, we, we gonna see what to do, that. though. But I mean, we're not in the same day and age we used to be with Supreme, and that's just a fact, you know what I mean? I mean, people want their stuff, and they want their stuff now, so I, that's my niche, and that's where I come in, but, um, Ain't nothing selling for the super high like it once was, but um, that's why you gotta buy more of it. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta. What do you anticipate uh, this, this season's drop being uh, like items wise? Oh, why well, you gotta print the black one though? Well, I printed out both. All right, the black one, that's the black that's nasty. Yeah, that's the black nasty. This is the the thirty two flagrant fouls. Come yeah, that, on, that, that's the black nasty. I don't know about that one, but the white one all day, all day. So this is not it. That ain't it. For the white, yeah. Even for novelty, like, hey man, no, you gotta get the black. Stay away from that shit. Stay away from that shit. So these the are going to be sitting in stores, that's what you're telling me? Nah, nah, nah. I, for a little bit. Okay. For a day or two. Shout out to Tyler Hero for debuting this All-Star Weekend. You Who's know Tyler Hero? NBA player, Miami Oh Heat. yeah, that's my man's in them. Okay. All, no. right. All right. But anything else? The white ones, buy as many as possible. I'm personally hyped off the Mac tool chest. Right, because I'm a tool guy. I'm a worker for a living, I think man. I like, that out. Yeah, this is a like six foot wide, Heavy and it's made by Mac without Supreme. This is like a three thousand dollar tool chest. So I'm scared of what this retail is going to be, and I know that I can't have it because it's going to cost too much money. So that breaks my little heart. But um, it's not going to cost too much like money. It. It's going to cost too much money. No, if you think about it, you have how many packs? I can't. I can't justify keeping something that costs that much money. Now the bicycle, on the other hand. That I think that bike, I think that bike's a keeper, man. But well, let's talk about this, though. This made the news. This made the news. So while you talk about that, so it's, it's an Oreo cookie. What do you want me to say? How many, how many, how many packets are you gonna buy? As many as they will allow me to. This is the third bike you gotta I've done get the in total. I'm getting the helmet for the bike tour. I hope it come out in time. I'm gonna be riding, or doing, riding with that, and and the matching spandex pants. You Can we that? get a fit battle between you and Eric Whitepack, please? Is Eric Whiteback running the Five Borough Bike Tour? He might be. If he is, I might have a better fit. You know, it's the second time they've done a BMX bike, third time in total. The first one was, you know, many moons ago. It was a collab with Brooklyn Machine Works, and that thing is coveted beyond all means. I couldn't even tell you what one of those would sell for if you had it, because it's really dealer's choice. And uh, the original one came in black, red, and it was rumored to be a white that I've never physically seen with my own eyes. I've only seen one once upon a time at a... Uh, Project Blitz's warehouse in LA. Shout out Croatian, shout out Sev. Um, you know, it's that thing is a that thing is a goat, a grail. Chest protectors, dirt. Right. Dirt, 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 dirt. Okay. I think that's about it, right? You got the deck. You got What's the that t-shirt you got pictures of? I see pictures of t-shirts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tupac. Tupac, we got the real one. Which you already got one. So yeah, anything else that I'm missing that, that you look forward to with this uh, Supreme The uh, The MLB collab should be all right. There's a Major League Baseball new era 
varsity jacket with like all the teams on them. That should be pretty dope. Um, that anorak that came out today, I was scared to buy it, bro. I was scared. Scared money don't make money, I know, but like I had to tape it back on some. And that Gore Tex anorak, that was a Ramalzi collab. Mm -hmm. That thing is beautiful, and nobody's buying it. What's the price point? It was what? like three ninety eight or some shit like that for the jacket, and like three forty eight for the pants. It's expensive, but it's just like I know that that piece would have done crazy numbers back in the day, and now like nobody cares about it. By the time next week comes around, yeah. how much w product would be left in your inventory? With any luck, no. Thing. Ooh. I'm not playing this holding game no more. I can't do that. If it ain't a box logo, I ain't really trying to hold it. I didn't really see any box logos. Do, do they not show it? They got a fo a FOGO. A FOGO? A FOGO. What does that mean? It's a faux box logo. It's a FOGO. On a shirt? On a crew neck. You ain't see it? And it looks like they carved it out of like sandpaper. They like they sort of destroyed the shirt a little bit to create the box logo, the word supreme. Uh, it's like torn into the shirt. Okay, oh yeah, it's a distress box logo. <laughs> Went over my head. Okay, distress box logo. I like that. Yeah. I mean people Shout people are gonna argue all season. Right? People are gonna argue all season about whether it's a box logo or not. Same way they did with the um the the JPG, the not JPG, the um John Paul, yeah, John Paul Gutierrez. I like they were like, ah, it's a box logo. It's not a box logo. It's a box logo. It's not a box logo. It's a Fogo. Supreme Week One All Star Weekend. Everything was great. We forgot to mention the Joe Fresh Goods sneaker. Oh yeah. Before. Oh, well, we mentioned it now. Let's Joe mention Fresh it. Goods had a great New Balance, which I bought. I bought it. I just forgot to bring it with me down here to show it off. And uh, it was a Dopey Mag collection. It was two sneakers. There was a 992, and then there was a Omnis. Kwahi Omnis. Savian. Kwahi. Kawhi. Kawhi. There was Kawhi. A Kawhi. We'll go with Kawhi Leonard. Nah, there was a Kawhi. No Kawhi Leonard. There was a Kawhi. All right, there was a Kawhi that I didn't Kawhi. too much like. All right, <laughs> with like mad like fucking frowny faces on it. Mm. I thought that was I'm the best grumpy. one. I like nah, that. Nine nine two is fresh. It got some holy like leather on it. Yo, I wasn't even able to catch the size I needed on that. Leave in the comments below. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, facts. Tell me to get me up here more often, bro. I ain't been here four and a half months. All right, I'm looking in the camera. Complex. Complex. Give Soul Street. Andre, a show, please. There, I did my part. It's on record. I'm gonna leave it in this. Yeah, episode. but the people need to do their part. Not like in general. If y'all don't want to see me on here, I've done everything nothing. I can. You've always gone above and beyond. I don't okay. get mad at you. But like people be in my inbox, like, yo, when are you going back on? When are you going back on? I'm like, I don't know. You gotta ask them. Somebody need to like go. I to tell them. I say, yo, ask them because I want them to ask y'all. And I'm telling y'all facts to ask somebody else yeah. higher up. Yeah, because I'm not gonna be the one Joel talking. Puma. Joel Complex, Puma. give this man a show. Yeah, his own Pop. show. I don't know what the show is gonna be. No, bro, it we might be a podcast. Popcorn. Pop. Give him a, a video podcast. Let's there you do go. it. Let's do it. All right. Video other than that, uh, hit the thumbs up. Yeah. Leave in the comments below. Yeah. Smash the like. What do you think wife. we should talk about next time? If there's a next time, because it's gonna be a next time, bro. It's gonna be some hot shit, and y'all gonna want me talking. Po positive energy. Yeah. All right. Uh, other than that, we're out of here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Yeah. Sync clap.